What is going on guys? Magnus Gaming here. Sit back, relax, and mind the penguin. Bet you haven't heard that one in a while. Um, I just wanted to uh, do a little discussion since one we haven't done one in forever and I would also like to discuss well I'd like to discuss exactly everything that uh, Bethesda had announced since that was an amazing just I was not expecting all of that. Um, I will have snidbits here and there of the uh, official E3, you know, release trailer of everything that they're doing. Um, but yeah, I'm going to uh, be cutting in every now and then, uh, pausing the video, you'll see my picture, and uh, I'll talk about whatever I'm seeing whatever I uh, want to point out and uh, let's see what all we can uh, find and pinpoint here and let's get into this welcome here to Bethesda Game Studios it's amazing to think it has only been a year since you first heard about Fallout 4 at this very event and thanks to you it became not just our most popular game ever but one of the industries. It has simply blown us away, and we're incredibly blessed to have fans like you. Seeing what you've created, not just in the main game with the add-ons and of course mods, it is just incredible. And we're not done yet. We're excited to show you what's coming next for Fallout 4. Okay, so uh, before we get into this first mod that it shows, um what do you guys think of this? I mean, it looks interesting, and they tried to go with more of a, I guess you could say, silly theme with this first one, but I mean, it has some interesting things with this first Fallout 4 mod that they showed, and I like it, but at the same time, I feel like, even though I don't know what they are, what all is going to be in this Wasteland Workshop number two, which, by the way, was leaked, you know, that, and Nuka World and all that. This was leaked a long time ago, at least as of time of making this video, you know, June 13th. But, um, yeah, wh what do you guys think? Because, I mean, it looks like it would be good, but I'm not sure exactly what all purpose this could have. I'm not entirely sure. Uh... Let me know in the comments. Okay, so this next add-on that they revealed is the, um, I believe it's technically the Wasteland Workshop number three, um, since the last one was number two. I'm not sure if they're calling it that in the add-on or if they're naming it something else. I can't remember. I don't, I'm not watching it right now or don't have it written down. This is all off the top of my head, but, um... It looks very interesting. Um, this really caught me off guard. Like, when I saw this, it really... Like, it gave me the feels, okay? It, uh... Like, I was not expecting this when I was thinking of Wasteland Workshop number three. I was expecting more bullcrap like the last one. Like, the last one I could understand sorting guns and doing this and doing that. Like... You know, just go to your settlement, hurry up, throw all your stuff in a chest, and it sorts it all out for you. But this just, you know, I, I don't know. What do you guys think about this? Uh, I'll let you guys watch it, but it's, uh, it's pretty interesting. I was not expecting this whatsoever, and I don't think anyone really was.
Okay, so after watching that, what do you guys think? I personally think that this would be a very, very interesting piece of just add-on or anything in the game. I mean, you're talking about a vanilla cannon, you know, creating your own vault in the game and I know that they have the mod for it but I'm sure that they have this a lot more like well flushed out and not as buggy and you know cuz I mean I I personally like the build your own vault part of like mod I uh mess around with that quite a bit but the problem with it is it crashes way too easily so I'm wondering how they're going to go about doing this it does say that you can run your own experiments on your quote-unquote vault dwellers, which makes me wonder exactly what this is going to be like. Is there some kind of, I don't know, like secret vault tech headquarters that contacts you and asks you to get people into another vault? claiming that there's another war about to happen or is this just purely like oh hey your guy lived in a vault and he wants to do it or maybe the vault tech representative has something to do with this make him more of a uh, in-depth character give him more dialogue and all that uh what do you guys think what do you think we're going to see with this i mean obviously making your own vault but what do you think the so-called experiments are going to be i mean you have stuff like um the gases from hallucinogen uh because i know we've seen something similar to that in previous faults uh in fault three um uh, i i don't know i i just personally feel like if i do get the cruel ability <laughs> to create my own vault you're going to be hearing a lot of gary in some of my playthroughs <laughs> so yeah uh make sure to comment what you guys think about it and uh let's get into this last one which i'm very excited about <laughs> Okay, so this one is the one that gets me. I'm not sure what to think of it with the way that they displayed it. I mean, it looks awesome. I mean, it has that Rivet City kind of, you know, it's gritty, but it's popular. It's where everyone goes. I mean, you look at it and it's obviously a booming trade town where... I'm assuming a lot of people would live. I'm expecting it to be kind of like... Not necessarily a counterpart, but another Diamond City. Uh, I'm expecting it to be something like a big trade town and just another large area of the game. I mean, you have to think, Diamond City is limited to a baseball stadium, which is rather large. But then you have an amusement park, which we have no idea how large it is even from the video it doesn't necessarily show exactly how large it is i mean i've seen amusement parks irl uh that are humongous that are you know you could fit four of those baseball stadiums inside of but then you also have small ones so i'm wondering how large is this gonna be is this more of a like will the entrance kind of be more like a open area kind of like diamond city is or will it be more like an enclosed kind of area? Like, will it have more buildings? Like, actual pre-war buildings? Like, you know, where you just walk in and then there's, like, the gift shop and what used to be, you know, food vendor or whatever and just all of this stuff? Or 
is this going to be kind of like, you know, you walk in and it's, you know, seemingly like it's packed, but it kind of seems a bit desolate, kind of like Diamond City was. Because I'm hoping that this isn't just, you know, another town, obviously. I'm hoping for a lot more from it since it's the, what, sixth DLC that we've had now? Well, you know, once it's out. It's just really interesting to me. I, I want to see what they do with this since they give so little information on it. Uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing what this is all about. Uh, with everything that they've been doing, it looks... I applaud Bethesda for everything that they've done. I mean, the last time I've seen this much DLC that isn't, you know, just straight up microtransactions was Oblivion. Oblivion had all of those DLC, and I mean, I will applaud Bethesda, because I mean, that workshop or Wasteland Workshop number two was, looks like it's going to be end up being this game's, you know, horse armor. Uh, everyone references that. If you don't know what that is, you are lucky. I'm one of the fools who bought it. But anyways, it, it looks like it'll be pretty good. And I'm hoping that it's, you know, obviously I'm not expecting Far Harbor out of this, but... If it was at least something like, I mean, kind of like Operation Anchorage was to Fallout 3, that was, it wasn't a lot in the main game, but the simulation itself had so much playtime, like, added to the game. I mean, even if it is just another 10 hours added to the game, I would like to see this, how it develops and how it, you know, what it is, what it turned out to be. And especially when they do uh, behind the scenes later on, I'd like to see, you know, how they came up with this idea or if they, because I've seen a bunch of uh, leaks to this. I mean, from, you know, Mr. Matty Plays and the No, all the other, you know, video game YouTube channels, uh, Mr. Matty especially, since he covers pretty much all things Bethesda. They have a... Uh, list basically it says topics not to or keywords not to talk about or mention from a 2014 uh, e3 event i believe some form of press conference and one of the things that was on there which you know i take this with a grain of salt but i still i don't know it has some legitimate things about it but at the same time it doesn't is it mentions nuka world and everyone thought that was fake, oh, this and that, which it could have been, you know, printed up a week or two ago. I understand that, and I'm not saying crap about it, but I'm just saying that if they've had this idea in their head, like maybe, oh, maybe we should do Nuka World as our next, or like as a new, you know, throwing ideas out there for what they want a new Fallout game to be about, well, this could be something similar to that. Like, maybe it was a scrapped idea from Fallout 3 or just something along those lines, and it's just really interesting. Uh, what do you guys think about this? Are you guys excited for Nuka World, or do you want to wait for more information before you jump on the hype spaceship and fucking go to Planet Orgasmo? Um... Yeah, tell me what you guys think about it, and uh, again, let's continue with the rest of the video. Of course, we didn't just announce Fallout 4 last year. We also announced and released Fallout Shelter, which over 50 million of you have downloaded and played. We have a really big update coming out. Take a look. We hope you're as excited as we are about all of this stuff coming to Fallout. We want to thank you again, not just for your support over the last year, but your support of our whole studio really over the last 20 years. There is something else though that you've been asking us about, and yes, we've been working on it. 
Okay, so this is the last, this should be the last time I'm butting in here. Um, first of all, I would like to say, I have Windows Phone. I am, I've never been able to play Fallout Shelter. I get it's a mobile game, I've, you know, seen people play it. I, you know, was interested in it when it first came out. But the fact that it's coming to PC is just amazing. I'm glad that they're doing this and taking their, this leap you know because I know that it has the lunch boxes which are completely optional I get that but I know that with PC comes modders and hackers and whatever you want to call them and I'm sure that someone will find a way to get unlimited lunch boxes which will ultimately cost them money I'm just hoping that they don't sync games between the PC and the phone <laughs> because Otherwise, you'll just have people walking around all day just opening lunch boxes. Um, and then, also, I want to talk about what's coming up next. Okay, if you haven't seen this video, this may be a surprise to you. It may not. Uh, I will say that Shinobi602 had already revealed this on a podcast with Mr. Matty Plays. I know that this has been a rumor for quite some time. I mean, a few years, like two or so years. And I mean, Bethesda, Todd Howard, whoever, I forget exactly who said it long ass time ago, they said themselves that they had ported Skyrim to the Xbox One in order to start working on, you know, getting it Fallout 4 ready for the, like, you know, available on the Xbox One, like, making sure that they got everything right. So, here's the big announcement. Okay, bear with me now. It's almost over, I promise you. I'm sorry, this is definitely longer than I originally intended this to be. Um, so, Skyrim Enhanced Edition, Special Edition, Collector, not Collector, sorry, uh, Definitive, whatever the hell you want to call it, okay? Maybe some of you do want to call it Collectors. Um, this I was not expecting. This actually I am glad they are doing. I kind of feel like they should have given a bit more love to the older games. Morrowind or Oblivion. Personally I would like to see Daggerfall but I know that is impossible. Um, this is a awesome step that they're taking. I'm really hoping that they at least make Oblivion and possibly if even possible Morrowind backwards compatible on the Xbox one uh, I'm not sure if they're available on PlayStation now I believe it's called I my PlayStation's broken I haven't messed with it in months but uh, what do you guys think of this I mean are you going to be getting this again I mean it comes with not only mods, but it comes with all the DLC, and I'm sure it's going to be $60. I doubt that they're going to charge more than $60 just because it has all the DLC. Either way, I'm just excited to see this, and I'm really hoping that they do a good job on this. I mean, it looks great from what it is, and I'm hoping certain things aren't fixed, like the alchemy glitch i i have to admit that i loved using that that was amazing having 
bajillion smithing level but yeah they're uh, they're really taking a good step forward for themselves i mean when fallout 4 first came out i mean they had gotten all this hype for it and it just it died everyone i know played like they binged it including myself everyone binged it it was like a glorious opera of just oh this player is now playing fallout 4 fallout 4 fallout 4 and then month a few months later not even not even th four or five months later just the game died no one was playing it everyone had moved on they're like oh yeah this that was fun but no the story was short i agree with that and it was not as well developed as i had hoped but i mean it was a good game i i'm not bashing on fallout 4 i mean Hell, I'm fucking excited about the new DLC that's coming out. It's a good game. It's just the vanilla content alone was not enough to keep me there. It was not enough to keep me playing. But, I mean, it's not like they get paid for freaking playtime. Um, but, yeah, I'm uh, excited to see what all is going to happen. Uh, especially with mods for Skyrim, since, as to my knowledge, that has one of the largest, you know, mod selections. I mean, I don't know where they're all going to be taking it from. Maybe they're, you know, having a certain amount of time to... Uh, what do you want to call it? Maybe they're having, like, a certain time frame from now until then to put mods to test on the Xbox One or whatever. Like, just implement them now since people know how to, you know do Xbox One stuff now, or what all is going to happen, but either way, new, well, upgraded, enhanced, whatever, Skyrim for next-gen consoles, I'm looking forward to this. Are you guys looking forward to this? Are you looking forward to, I don't know, maybe one of the DLCs? Do you want to know what Nuka World is really about? For uh, more discussions, which I will try to do more discussions if you guys enjoyed this. Anyways, for more discussions and gameplay, let's plays, let's play throughs, make sure to like, subscribe, and uh, as always, mind the penguin.